Well, um, let's leave Ukraine there. We're going to move on to uh, the subject of um, transport now. And uh, Gillian, um, you're taking up the the ferry mantle. Yeah, well. no, there's a couple of there's a couple of transport stories this morning, but I think the one obviously that sticks out, which has been rumbling on for a few days now, and doesn't appear to be showing any signs, <coughs> excuse me, of abating, um, is the is the is the ferries and the the issue about the Calmac ferries that uh, don't work. It seems. Um, so two kind of developments of that this morning, neither of which are particularly good news for Nicola Sturgeon. The first one being that Jim McCall, um, who is the Ferguson's Yard boss, has basically said that um, the disputed contract essentially was given out in such haste so that it could be announced at the SNP's autumn conference in 2015. Um, and he's told the Sunday Times that the audit report has revealed we were given the contract for political purposes. Everything was about the optics and the timing and the announcements for political gain. And I think obviously that is that is pretty damning in terms of given the Audit Scotland report this week that the due, due diligence wasn't done, um, none of the kind of refund procedures were in place. And obviously it's a huge, huge amount of public money that's been used on these ferries. And um, essentially <clears throat> the checks weren't done and McCall now says that they felt that they were under pressure to tender a contract before design specifications were finalised for the same political reasons that cast the SNP in a good light. So obviously that you know that's deeply concerning in terms of the way public contracts are awarded, and obviously the 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 consequence of that is obviously that the the, the public have paid out all this money, and we've got these ferries that don't work. And then also the kind of second part of this story, so we've all, that's kind of one part of it. The second part is that it's kind of focused on both the, the, in the Herald at page eight and it's also in the Mail on Sunday on page 24. Whereas it's essentially reporting that this week in Parliament, Nicola Sturgeon seemed to point the finger at uh, Derek Mackay at the time when he was, was finance minister and, and he was involved. However, there now seems to be emails have come to to light that show that actually he was on holiday when the decision was taken and actually the decision seems to have been made by Keith Brown who was the infrastructure secretary at the time so again it seems like there's just not really a clear answer in terms of like wh why were, were these plans signed off, who were they signed off by um, the Herald in their piece say that the Ferguson's bid which which was in the end the one that the Scottish government went with was the most expensive of the six yards that tendered but outscored them on quality in the Audit Scotland report said it wasn't clear what discussions took place between ministers about the contract. There's no documentary evidence of why they were willing to accept the risks despite the concerns. I just think all of this story, it's, in, it's across the papers, but these are really the only two new aspects of it this weekend, is I think, you know, there obviously are an awful lot of questions that need to be answered. And it seems like rather than actually answering the questions, we're just getting more and more questions being asked and kind of... They can, the, the answers are just being blurred and, and not given straight, which is probably why the story is still yeah. running. It's that, it's that fascinating thing about the, about the, the Scottish government. It's, it's intransigence in admitting information. It releases information um, when it absolutely has to. Um, it's not that you know, people used to talk about you, know, you would release information when your back's against the wall. And I always feel that the Scottish government's view is it will release information when it's, you know, its face has been rubbed up against the kind of pebble dash. You know, it has this kind of um, ability to, 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 you know, I mean, to have an Audit Scotland report come out that can't answer basic questions um, and think that that's acceptable to the public, um, acceptable to, to, the, to, to, you know, to the media. They'll, they'll, just, it'll, they'll, they'll just be a vague area as opposed to... But then, you know, what's the reality of the situation? You know, they wanted the Yard to have it because it would be Scotland making its own ferries and they wanted to announce it for the for the SNP and they, they, they pushed through whatever was required to do that. I mean, that seems to be the gist of it, but it's just taken so long to come out. Mm. Well, um, let's move on to, Julian, the subject of trains. 